Hey, welcome Ozzy here. In this video, I'm showing you that like how you can design FAQ section in a framer. So let me show you that preview that what you're just going to be doing in there, right? So in the first of all, when I'm just anyone just going to be click on this item, they will get to see it's open up and with the details. And if they click on the ear, it's automatically closed. And as you can see, they will get to see something like this. And the next time when someone just going to click the next one, they will get to see the different one. If they click on this one, they will get to see the different things, right? So how it's possible in Framer, I will explain you step by step everything in this video. So before I start, let me show you that this design was done in Figma. I was designing it on Figma. And after this, I import it onto Framer through the Framer plugin. If you search in here and the Framer plugin, Figma to HTML with Framer, then you will get this plugin in here. And using this plugin, I mainly import it, right? So what I need to do, let me go back again here, this Framer. And now I just need to open this open one, not like something that is the not open, right? So we can directly choose this one. Instead, we need to choose choose this one, right? So let's click on there and click mouse right button. Then you will get to see the option called create component. Click on there. And now as you can see, we can say, let's say FAQ, FAQ. I already have another component. So I'm typing here FAQ Q that I can easily understand which is for what. And now let's say open. So when you open it, as you can see, it's opening an a component in there. That means if I need to access it again, I need to come into this place and I need to double click on there then I will get the access on there. Okay, so I hope you understand. And now what I need to do, I need to duplicate it. That means this is something open, right? But we need to like something that is default, by default, what will be? So what I need to do, we just need to, as you can see on this right side, you get to see variant. At this bottom, you get to see hover. So when you click on here, this variant option, and as you can see, we get a two option. One is like uh, the variant one, and another is like a variant here. So what I need to do, I need to double click on here this name, then I can put here any kind of name. Let's say I'm typing here F A Q Q, this is open, or let's say it's two, or let's say it's one, it's open. And this is smell the variable, let's say I'm typing here variable one only. So now I need to do design of this. So let's say I don't really need this one, so okay. So since I don't need this one, I can directly delete it. If I delete it, then it will be deleted from everywhere. So what I need to do, I need to disable it. So let's click on this text and let's come here on this right side style and let's click on here with this visibility, just disable it. After disabling it, as you can see, now we get to see this one, it's something in a different way, right? But in the second one, just click on the second, I mean this open one and just click on here, this line, as you can see the text, just click on this text and here with the text, you get to see the option, the description, and this is disable. So if you just enable it, now it's enable. That means on this a primary one, it's going to be on default. It's going to be something like this. And when it's going to be open it, then this design will be something like, so it's have a, an, a hand tool in here. So let's say this is have a hand tool. So um, we can just like see it. Okay, so, but one thing can happen in there, if you see carefully that it's have a plus icon when it's close, but when it's open, it's need to be minus, right? So yeah, we already have this option, right? So what you can do, we can simply just select tool and go back to again, here this framer, and I'm just double clicking on here, this plus. So let me simply just click on here. Okay, so I need to click on the simple one. So as you can see now it's open, and this is the plus icon, as you can see, I hover in there. I think you can't see it. Let me open it. Okay, so now we can see it. This is the open icon. So simply control C, copy it, and let's double click on here the component and let's go there. And now what I need to do, I need to come here and this here and simply paste it. So when you simply paste it, as you can see, we get a different option in here, right? So let me delete the previous one. And now what I need to do, I need to change this color, as you can see. So what I need to do, I just need to change this fill color. Uh, let's say I like to go with the red one. And as you can see, when I double click on here, I just double click, I, I get to hear this graphic section and now I can change this path. On the other hand, we don't need to go in the graphic section for changing this color. Uh, instead, we can change this top color in here, then it will be automatically changed. But anyway, this is not a, our tutorial. So now in here, I need the plus icon, right? So as you can see, the plus icon is also showing into the open one. So 
we just need to disable it. Let's say, okay, so let me go back again. And now in here, this line, like this one, I need to disable it. So I'm disabling it on here, this uh, FAQ one, but I need to enable it onto here, right? So I'm just going back again here, I let the line, I'm enabling it, and for this open, I'm disabling it. So what happened now, as you can see, we get a plus icon in here, and here we have a minus icon. And now the important part is again, that is changing this color, because it's important, right? Okay, so let's click on again this tool, and let's come here again. And now what we need to do, we need to change this fill color into nothing <laughs> we don't really need anything in there but we need to change this color let's say i'm clicking on this here and now i don't know if they prove provide any kind of like all the colors are showing the left side like the figma it would be better then i can directly change the color but anyway we need to do it manually so click on this text first of all and let's say i like to change this color into white color so as you can see there is no white color so what you can do we can create a nice style so triple f i want that and now I'm um, just click on the plus icon and this is gonna be, let's say white. So as you can see, we get another icon here. So, and now let's go here. And now let's see the color, fill color will be uh, white. Okay, so when I change the color and fill color white, it's not gonna be work mainly since I changed the stock color. So let's double click on there and let's pathway, change the pathway and select it. And let's say I'm going at white, as you can see now change. Okay, so now what you need to do, we need to come back again here, but as you can see, this is since it's in a primary, it's make sure that this is the primary one. That's why one about doing changes on the air, it's effect onto the child one. So this is the primary one. So that's a, what about doing changes on the air? It's effect into the child one. Okay, so now I need to change you this color also. So when you update the child, it's not going to be effect on the parent. Okay, it's not going to be effect on the parent. It's something like the Figma. Okay, so now let's see the color. Let's say I like to go with black. So let's say triple one and let's say plus and let's say it's going to be a black something. Okay, so this is middle black something. All right, so now we also, I think, okay, so I think it's have our minus option. Yeah, everything is up there. Okay, so this is the thing, but also we need to do one thing. We need to change here this color also. Let's say click on this open and let's say I like to change this background color. So let's come here this field and let's say I like to go with the white color. I'll make this like the white. <laughs> it's quite interesting. Okay, so let's go back again. And as you can see, uh, we, we we nothing get to see in here, right? So if you see the preview, there is nothing because we didn't do the prototypes in there, right? We didn't link it. So we need to double click on there. And now what we need to do, we need to do something. Let's say I like to simply drag and drop here and this. And now it's something, let's say, when someone just tap, when someone tap on this primary option, right? When someone tap the primary option, it just, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me. It just really can there. Let's say it's tab also. So as you can see, it's now tab. Okay. So now let's go back again and let's say open our preview. Yes. Now as you can see, it really works fine, right? It really works fine, but it's have a problem. Let me show you what is that. Let's say I need a more, I have a more questions in there. So what I can do, I can simply just duplicate it, right? And now when is it going to be changing the content? What happened? Just guess what happened? Double click, open it. And now when I'm just going to change the content, let's say I'm typing here one and go back. It changed everywhere. So I don't really want it, right? I want only the different, different questions there. So I don't want it. So yeah it's also have an installation let me show you how we can do it so let me just simply delete it let me open it again and now let's say change it so i got the solution here i mainly solve it in a different way let me show you how it's done so first of all i click on this primary one i also go to here this hover option that means let me show you what i'm saying about i click on this primary and i want a duplicate one so i just click on this copy as you can see where you get a different one right and in here i don't need this frame i mean i don't need it right now so i, I just delete here this interaction and now i click on this open one and i just click on a variant as you can see we get a different variant and the different variant i don't really want any kind of interaction in there so this is mainly a variant three and this is the variant four we got it and now what you can do we can change it as so let's say this is going to be something our faq2 and we could say about FAQ to open like this way. 
And now let's say we need more some questions. Let's say three or four questions. What I can do? I just click on here eight, and let's say I click on this how this <laughs> variant, and I just open it. And let's click on get here, and let's say the variant. And now what you can do? We can let's say change here this. Let's say I this is gonna be something variant three, and this is gonna be something variant three open. So I change the name uh, because. When it changes the name, when I'm just going to be duplicating it, as I can say, duplicate different one. This is the primary one. This is the second one. So what you can do, I can simply change this variable from here. Let's say I want this variable two in here, and also I want let's say in variable three in here. So all the steps I can do it myself, right? So here I'm just going back again. Let's say I like to go with the number three, open it, and number four, open it. So now in number three, I like to cap it as it is because of in, in feature if I need it then I can reuse it again that means I don't need to uh, you know like unlink this thing again and again so that's why and now the quick important things that I can do I need to connect it one by one so let's I click on here zoom a little bit and now I'm just connected with that and a tap and let's again come again here and uh, let's say I just connected okay now I just click on connect it again with this and also here is a hand tool and let's say, oh man, and let's say now again, just drag and drop here. Yeah, okay. So this is the thing that we've done. And now we, what did you do? We need to change the content because it's important. Without it, it's something like, it's nothing. Okay, so let's say I like to change here this content. So I'm just copying here the content. Come back again, Framer. Uh, let's just zoom a little bit. Uh, let's say press V. Uh, I, I know it's press V working or not, but. Anyway, it's the same thing. So let's simply paste the content that we have done and also paste it here. So one thing, if you just click on there, then you will get to see the option on the left side called content. Simply just paste it. Okay, so now as you can see, down the content is changed. Let's come to number three. And now let me just change copy here, this is number three. Uh, let's come again here, the, here this Chrome again. And now let's say I like to change here. Let's say, okay, so let me, this is number three, right? This is open. So number eight, pass it, open it, right? So now let's say I like to change here this content also. Let's open it, okay. So now let's come back again to the landing page and let's see, let's see here this preview. All right, so here, as you can see, we got a three of them. When I click on here, we get a, this one, we get a, this one, and this is also really works fine. So I hope you understand about this, like how, how we just have done these FAQ sections. I hope you can do it yourself. And also one thing, if you like to add here this border, then just double click and then you will get to see option here have a, let's say a radius and also have the border option. So if you like to add a different border then you can do it yourself. So that's it, the video. If you really like this video, then please click on this like button. And if you need here on my channel, so you can please do subscribe. And if you'd like to hire me in, in your in next project, then you can come into getwpxpad.com or you can just text me when my Facebook page that, hey, I have a project for you, or text me on my WhatsApp, that, hey, I have a project for you, like a framework project or framework projects or anything, anything like design, web design projects, just let me know. I hope we'll do collaboration together. Thank you so much for watching this video.